We're serving them because we got to go, go to them for everything, right? They don't come to us for nothing, right? We need anything in this world, we go to them. Right? We can't do anything, we can't make a move without them. That's how we're cursed. Right? As a nation of people, man. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Right? We have to realize the Lord sent these enemies against us because we sinned against him. We didn't serve the Most High with joyfulness. Right, with gladness of heart. Read on. In hunger. In hunger, right? Wherever, whatever food we want in this land, read. And in thirst. Water, our juice, anything we need in thirst, read. And in nakedness. Our clothes, our shoes, right? Read. And in want of all things. And in want of all things, our cars, right? All the materialistic things in this world we want. We get it from them because we're cursed, man. We don't, you guys don't see that as a curse though. Right? We got to go to them for everything in life that we want. We don't own a dang thing. Right? Even the word of God. We can't even go to our people. We go to them for the true understanding. What's up, sis? Come get some understanding real quick. How you doing? You have understanding? Show me the understanding you got there. Because you sure look like you have all the understanding, sis. Come over here, sis. Come, come reason with your brother, man. I'm just trying to get you over here. Right? You right. I can't judge on the outward appearance. But I can judge on the things you're doing, though. I can see by the things you're doing, you don't have the understanding. That's how I could tell. Right? And also by what you're wearing. Right? You're right. I can't judge you, right, by how you look. Right? But I can judge you by what you're wearing. I can judge you by what? Your actions. Right? That's how I know there's no understanding in my people. Right? And my brothers, my sisters. Right? We don't understand how we're so lost in this nation, man. In, this, in, this, in these neighborhoods. Right? We claim to love God. We have no love of God in us. Right? We claim to be close to God. We are far off from Him. Right? We don't. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck uh -huh. until he have destroyed thee. Right. And our enemy that God sent against us, he said he was going to put a yoke of iron upon our neck until he has destroyed us. Right. The only nation of people that has done that. Right. Well, actually, every, every nation upon this world has done that to our people. Right. Put us in slavery. But one significant thing that happened in this recent slavery. Right. Is the what? The chains on the neck and ships. Right? The ships. Right? There's only one nation of people that did that to us. That put us on slavery through ships. Right? It's a so-called white man. Right? Your, your best friend. The Edomites. Right? We need to stop loving these other nations and love our own people. Right? Because it's funny. That a, a Christian pastor, right? The, the most, one of the most famous uh, Christian pastors. Joel Osteen will come out here. Right? A so-called white man. Preaching this world, y'all, y'all all will be over here loving the word you bring out. But one of your own people come preaching the truth out the Bible and not wanting a penny out of your pocket, right? Y'all hate him. Y'all don't want to hear it. Oh, this man talking foolish, right? He ain't got no money. He just like me. He a broke nigga over there. I can't hear you, man. You gotta speak up and come over here. I can't hear you still. Come on, man. You, you if you're trying to make a statement, you gotta make it known. I can't even hear your voice, man. Huh? Say it again. I still can't hear you, man. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all got money, huh? Where y'all land at? They got land. Where y'all land at? <laughs> hey, this is my country. Get your Arabic ass out of here. <laughs> That's right. Right. Get your Ishmaelite ass back to your country. Right. Oh, 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 you here to make money? Exactly my point. You here to make money off my people. Right. Get yourself back to your land, Ishmael. Right. What you doing in my land? Right. Right? I was here first, not your people. Exactly. Right? Cause you try to change the subject, talking about go back to your land. And then when I bring it out, you say go back to go back to uh I'm I'm here making money. Oh right? Why don't you go back to your land? Nobody wants you over here, you dog. Oh right? Your God don't exist. Your God is an idol, man. That's right. Right? right. Your God is nothing, man. That's My right. God is the real living power, right? The power of this Bible, right. right? Your God does not exist in this Bible. You have nothing to do with this Bible. It doesn't concern you. 
Alright. Alright? So you can take your Ishmael family and go back to wherever you came from. Alright, nobody cares about you. I'm not here for you. Stop worrying about me. Right. I'm not here, I'm not out here talking to you, I'm talking to my people. So stop talking to me. Alright? Right. So like I was saying to my people that was bashing me, right? Where's y'all land at? Right? Y'all say y'all ain't broke, y'all got money. Right? Where y'all land at? Right? What you got to show for it? Well, old 95 Chevy? Come on now, man. I ain't talking about money, though. I'm not, I'm not talking about riches. Riches don't mean nothing. Y'all the ones talking about money. Right? I'm not talking about it's good to have a lot of money. I'm not talking about you made it if you have money. That's not, that has nothing to do with what I said. Right? Let's get the true riches. Right? Give me, uh, give me Revelation 2 and 9. Right? Give me Revelation 2 and 9. Right? Let's see how we're really rich. Right? Because God said his people, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, were rich. But he didn't say we're rich with money. I'm going to show you what he said we're rich by. Read. Uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Right. I know thy works in tribulation uh -huh. and poverty, right. but thou art rich. He said, he knows the part. Read it again. I know. Read, read, read. I know thy works. Right, he says he knows the works, the tribulations of the real Jews, which is us, right? And poverty. And poverty, right? The real Jews in the last days are going through poverty, right? Not rich, read. But thou art rich. He says we're in poverty, but we're rich. Now, what, what does he mean by that? Right, we got the spiritually riches. You know what I want? I got, I got a No, after that, give me the one in Romans. Uh, keep reading, though. Keep finish that. Well, it's not keep and I know the blasphemy of right, them. Huh, that's it. Right, he says we're in tribulation. We're in poverty, but we're rich. How are we rich? We're rich because we have the own. We have the only real God on this planet Earth. Right in this whole world, right, loves us only. That's rich. That's being rich. Right, having the shekels on this earth ain't nothing, man. Because it's all going to go bye-bye when you die. Right? That's not rich. When we die out of our body, right, we stay with the most high. Right, in his stead. Come on. Right? We stay with the most high. That's how we're rich. We're not thrown to the side like a piece of garbage. Right? We're not nothing to the Most High. We're everything to the Most High. He loves us. That's how we're rich. Give me that. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 4. I'm going to show you how we're rich. Read. Who are Israelites. Right? Who are Israelites. Right? We're the Israelites. Us being Israelites makes us rich, man. Right? We got to start acting like Israelites again. Right? Then we'll become spiritually rich again. Right? We'll have our riches again. My spiritual riches and material riches. Read. To whom pertaineth the adoption? Right, to whom pertaineth the adoption? The adoption was given to the children of Israel. Right? No other nation can be adopted into the children of Israel, into the nation of Israel. But Israel. Right? Read. In the glory. And the glory. Read. In the covenants. And the covenants. Right? The covenants that were given to who? Israel. Right? No other nation. The promises that was promised to Israel. The promises of the blessings. And the promises of the curses. Right? These were given to the black, Hispanic, and Native American. That's how we're blessed. That's how we're rich. Read. In the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. Right? These are all the riches that we need. Right? Read on. In the service of God. The service of God. Right? It's a blessing to be given the service of God. To be able to do the service of God. To give the, to be given the understanding of how to do the service of God. Read. And the promises. And the promises. Read on. Who are the fathers, and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came. Right. Who is over all. God bless That's forever. how we're pro that's how we're blessed. That's how we're rich. Because the most high is only dealing with our nation of people. That's Nobody right. else. Right? We're rich because the most high loves us. He made this world for us. And all these other nations are were made to serve us. But we're serving them, sis. Come on, sis. Let me talk to you real quick. I'm not trying to argue with you. Right? I'm not saying you ain't got no understanding. Come, come, come converse with me for a little bit. Right? Come dialogue. 
If I if I had a, if I had a, uh, a pound of trees in my hand, I bet you'd come down long, huh? Right? <laughs> right? It's cause hell yeah, it's cause my people so destroyed. Right? The hell a pound of trees gonna do for you? Not a dang thing. You gonna still be broke on the block. Right. Right? If I give you some wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, you get off the block probably next year. Right? Have a good job. Probably end up getting a wife. Right? Get your kids back that you probably lost. Huh? What's foolishness? Give me, give me all. Uh, what is it? Proverbs fourteen one. Yeah. Give, give me that. Right. What, what does it mean to be foolish? Right. What is a fool according to the Bible? Right. Cause you talking about my foolishness. I'm talking about. Let's see what the real foolishness the Bible talks about. Hey. Huh? So I can't judge you now. I can't judge you now. Shoot. You can judge me. Yes. If you're being a righteous man and you're doing. Hey, yo. Uh, uh, you about, unplug that, plug that into this. Don't look at it. Unplug that, that, uh, nationally, plug, plug the other mic in. Oh, uh, Right, you said a lot of words, brother. Come on, no, no, plug it into this one. Right, you said a lunatic and you said fool, right? Right, what's a lunatic, man? Right, you a lunatic right now. Right, you got a lunatic spirit on you. Right? That means you got devils on you, brother. Right? But first, we're going to get to the foolish. Talking about, hey. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here, to, I'm, try, I'm here to try to save you, brother. I'm here to give you a peace of mind. Right? If you'll receive it. But no, our people are so simple and foolish. Right? Give me foolish. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 14, and verse 1. Let's see what foolish means according to the Bible. The fool has said in his heart. Uh-huh. There is no God. Right? The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Right? That's how you're a fool. Right? You're a fool, man. You might not say it directly out of your, out of your own mouth, but you don't believe in God. You're a foolish man. That's what a fool is. <laughs> Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Give me Ephesians 521. Prove all things, man. Everything that's coming out of your mouth right now, prove it. You're talking out of your bum hole. Prove it. I want you to prove it. Give me stats. Give me facts. Because I can give you facts. Ain't no damn cracker up this Bible. The white man can't, he can't fathom to understand the things out of this Bible, man. Only our people can. You think the white man is so, he has so much wisdom, knowledge, understanding to be able to write the things in this Bible? Heck no! Their people is too dumb to write the things, the blessed things that are in these scriptures, man. That's right. That's impossible. See, that's what happens. When you're oppressed very hard by your oppressors so much, you choose nothing but his ways. You say, okay, master. You say you wrote the Bible. I believe you, master. Right? That's your problem, man. You think a white man wrote this Bible, they don't have no understanding of this Bible. There's no way they could write, they could have wrote this Bible. Right? Why would they write this Bible and write about themselves being a devil? That makes no sense, man. Read. The book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 21. Right. Prove all things. Right, the Bible says prove all things. Right? Prove everything that's coming out of your foolish mouth, man. Prove every single thing that's coming out of your mouth, because I am. Right? Prove everything. Right? And I'm going to prove to you that the prophets of the Most High wrote the Bible. Man wrote the Bible, right? But black men wrote this Bible. That's right. Right? Black righteous men. That's right. Right? Not black wow. foolish men. Right? They were led by the Spirit of the Lord. Right? Right? The true and living power. Right? Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Right? That's right. That's who wrote this Bible. Right, he had his servants come write this Bible. Right, Moses was a black man. Solomon and David was a black man that wrote this Bible. Right, you need to get the Gentile way of living out of your mind, man. That's your oppressor talking through you. That's why you're sitting here every day. You probably, like I said, you're probably on this block since you was 12 years old. Now you what, 40, 50 years old, an elder, a man that's supposed to have understanding, still on the block with none. What you got? 
Give me Psalms 40 and 8. Uh, that's, what I'm that's what I want? No, that's the will. Uh, give me uh, 68 and 11. Psalm 68 and 11. Right? This Let's see who wrote the Bible. Let's see who really wrote the Bible. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 68 and verse 11. Right. The Lord gave the word. The who? 